This is question 8. Here we're told the diagram shows a straight line L1 drawn on a grid. And we're told that a straight line L2 is parallel to the straight line L1 and passes through the point 0, negative 5. We're asked to find an equation of the straight line L2. The first thing that we're going to talk about here is a general form for a straight line equation, which is y equals mx plus c, where m, where this part here, the m, that that is the gradient, and the part c, part c, where this is the y-intercept. So what we first of all need to recognize is that if two straight lines are parallel, what we can say is that they will both have the same gradient. If they have the same steepness, that means that they will never meet. Okay, so for the first thing that I'm going to do for this line L2, I know that this is going to be y equals something x. And that something is the gradient. And my gradient is simply going to be the same as the line L1. So to work out a gradient, what I need to do is I need to work out what the change in y is as x increases by 1. So if I were to move across one space on the x-axis, what change in y does that bring about? Well, what I can see is that when I move across by 1 on the x-axis, that that is causing a change in y of a half. And I can see that going through. So across by 1, up by a half, across by 1, up by a half, across by 1, up by a half, and so on. So what I can say is that the gradient for this line L1, the gradient for this line L1 is half. And because they are parallel, that means the gradient for line 2 is going to be half as well. So I know that y equals half x. What I then need to work out is I need to work out what the y-intercept is. So the y-intercept is simply the point at which our straight line passes through the y-axis. We can also think of this as being the value of the y coordinate when the x coordinate is 0. So for this line L1, we can see that the y coordinate here, uh, sorry, the, that the y intercept is at the coordinate 0, 3. Now we're told that the line L2, a straight line L2, is parallel to the straight line L1 and passes through the point 0, minus 5. So that means that the y-intercept is at minus 5, and so my final answer for the line L2 is going to be y is equal to half x minus 5. So just to recap there, the half, that comes from working out the gradient on this parallel line. The y-intercept comes from the point 0 minus 5, where, the, where that line L2 is cutting through the y-axis.